Hello everyone, this is Navid and I welcome you all to the official Sitcomers channel. This is the next video in the Sitcomers video series. In today's video, we'll see how with the help of request for quotation extension, a B2B customer can create a quote on a specific product. It means for a specific product, user can send request for quotation at the desired price for the total quantity of the product. Thus, the user can negotiate price and the quantity and get the final price for the total quantity of the product. So, without further delay, let's begin with today's session. Let us first configure the module from admin's end. To configure the module, go to the admin panel. On the left navigation bar, click on request for quotation and then click on configuration. This will open to the configuration page. Let's check it out. In the enable request for quotation management list, select yes to enable the extension feature. In the allowed customer group to access RFQ list, select the required customer group that the admin wants to assign to access the RFQ. Now coming down. Hide Add to Cart button for Customer list. Select the required customer group to whom the admin does not want to show Add to Cart button. Hide Price for Product Customer list. Select the required customer group to whom the admin do not want to show Product Price. After doing the configuration of the module from the admin end, now we should learn how to send the quotation. To send the quotation, you need to log in to the customer's account. As you can see, I am already logged into a customer account. Now to send the quotation, come to a product. Let's check this product out. Here you get an option get quote for the product. By clicking on this, I'll be able to send the quote for this product. Here, enter quantity. Let's assume I want 10 quantity and for this 10 quantity, I want to pay 100 USD. Okay. Now I will send this quotation to admin. Now this is added into my card and when I click on view card, I need to fill all the details. I need to fill the city. the zip code and the contact information after that clicking on get shipping rate I will get the sh estimated shipping price for my location now I click on submit code The code which I am sending after this it is sent to the admin. Now when the code has been generated the customer can always check the status of the code from my code section present in the account section. In my account and when this page will rent to here and here is option of my code. This will list down all the quotes that have been sent. The current quote which I have sent is this. And the status of the quote is pending.
Now let us check out this code at the admin's end. Now checking the code at the admin's end. Come to request for quotation, manage code. And here you will find all the codes that have been listed. On the top, I can see my code that I have sent. To cl click on this code to view it. Now the detail of the customer who sent the code and the code which has been sent can be checked from here. Both admin and customer can negotiate upon the code quantity price until the code has been approved from the end admin. The current status of the code is set as pending and when both the parties agree the status is set to approve. Once the code is approved admin has to create the PO that is purchase order for the code. Now let's consider and approve this code. Click on save code. Now the code has been approved. Let's check it out at the front end. Refreshing the page, coming to my code. You can see the current status of the code has been set as approved. Now the price which is set has been finalized. If the customer and admin want to have a communication, they can chat over this window. Now once the code has been approved, now let us learn how to create PO that is purchase order. To create a PO, admin can manage from the create PO section at his panel. To create a PO, again go to request for quotation, manage code and click on the code. This will open and here if the code is being approved, it will show create PO. Click on create PO. And just submit the purchase order. Your PO will be generated. Let us move to the customer section and check out the PO. Now on the front end, go to my account. And here you can see option my PO. When you click on this, all the PO that have been generated are shown. This is the order PO which has been generated and is in pending state. If the customer is satisfied with the PO, then he has to approve and add the PO to his card else he can cancel the PO. I am going to approve and place the order for the PO now. Click on view. Here is the option approve PO. Now you get an option to add to cart. Click on add to cart. Your product is added to cart. Now just simply check out. Scroll down and click on next. Select the billing address and place the order. So now the order has been placed for the PO generated. With this we come to the end of today's video session. In the next video we will check out more feature of Z commerce extension. Keep watching this space for more.
थैंक यू